Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm going to grab some water for a second. Hi, Jim. Hi, how are you? Good. They called me back. Um, what time is it? It's 11.22. Oh, guess what? I have a surprise for you. Do you want to? Sure. I'm going to let Logan channel for a little while. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Yay! I love it. I think that I, I would love for him to channel for you all. Um, he is 10 years old. He'll be 11 in July, 16th. But how long have you been channeling? Um, for at least a year now. He's been channeling for at least a year now. And I would like to give him a little time on Human Colony. So, uh, everyone, Logan Sims, I will bring it over to him. Woohoo! Good job, Logan. Welcome, now, Logan. I, there are some rules and regulations for this one. Uh, do not ask any questions. The entities that are going to come through Logan are going to just talk. They are not going to answer any questions at this time. They uh, can give you some advice, but that's about it. Otherwise, if I go to questions and try to figure out what's going on, it could hurt my mental state a little bit. But only for a temporary time. He's still very young, and channeling is still new, of course. And um, I'm sure that one day he's going to be one of the one of the great channelers. But right now he's still learning, and we're giving him a, a chance to uh, uh, branch out right now. So bless you, and we'll be with you. Do it. He's going to do a little meditation, and. Um, Remember, no questions, please. Can they hear him okay? Can they hear him okay? Oh, he may need to speak out there for a second and see if they can hear you real well, or do you need this? We hear him. Can you hear me? I, can't, I put it on so it's comfortable. Okay. I don't know. How it's fine. It's fine. I can't see what I'm doing. I can't see it either. Um, hello? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh we, can, we can hear you. Okay, how's that? Um, it's okay. Okay, if they can, if you can hear him, that's cool. He's. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Can you... Um, can you I. Okay? Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes, we yes, can hear you. Fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Um, I have a cat that wants to come through. Uh, Chronox and a couple other guys. Um, Whoever wants to, go ahead. Whoever wants to come through, we'll we'll just allow them to to pick and decide. Hello. 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 I am what the channel do last night. I'm the cat. You're the cat. Yes. Could you speak up a little bit for us? Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, I'm the cat. I don't have a name. Uh, Logan like would like me to come through, so I am here now. Hello. Hello. Welcome. What do you have to ask or tell us? Um, you were talking about some very um. Something about the community with the whole disruption. What was it? With the collapse of the economy? Yes, the collapse of the economy. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Um, us cats will be watching. 
very, very closely. House cats, anything. They'll be watching. I'll be watching this one in particular. I would not like it to see your economy go down. <clears throat> I would not want to see this, but this is what your planet needs to go through. It will go through its time. Uh, this is a positive thing, and I know um, whoever came through said this. This is a positive thing for the money system to change. I don't like the money system either. It's all about, I have this, my money, right? Uh, I don't know uh, where I was going on that one, but it's technically like that sometimes. Usually, it can have some peaceful things to it, but the money thing, it needs to change for the majority of it. Uh, there is a loss in connection right now. Uh... One moment, I need to get connected again. My voice is kind of going in and out at the moment. Okay, I'm back. Now, what was I talking about? Oh, yes. Um, do you have any questions for me? What do you think of humans? They're interesting. They're interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, Have you met a lot of humans? Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. Um, some are tall. Some are small and medium. I kind of like your civilization because there's not one state where you just stay at that tall for a while. Usually we grow up and everybody stays the same height. So it can get annoying. Do you observe, Logan, are you coming to a spaceship to dimensionally other planet? Oh no, I'm coming from this planet. Oh, you're on the planet. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm in the form of a cat right now. Dimension. Fourth dimension. Yeah. Far fourth. Somewhere around there. Since Logan is kind of connected to that, I can connect to him. Just realized it. Now he has a better connection to the fourth, which I am now connecting with him a lot better. Cool. Yes. Humans are very, very interesting. The only thing that kind of is disappointing about the planet is the wars. On my planet, we don't have that many wars. I mean, sure, there's the Siamese military, there's the... There's a whole lot of militaries, but there's no wars. Well, there's not a lot. So far, we've only had three major wars. And there are four, four, four wars in particular that happened, but only three were major. It is very, very peaceful overall. What's the name of your planet? I don't... We... Um, you can see it from one of the star constellations. I believe it's somewhere around Orion. Um, but... Um, I think... That's one of our other planets, I guess. Mm. Our race is kind of split up. Mm -hmm. we got, like, a planet over here. we got a planet over here. we got a planet over here. we got a planet over here. It gets confusing to get to all of them. Think of building like a teleportation thing. Oh well. That's far down the road. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, okay. I'm half cat, half cu half human. We were born kind of human. We didn't have the ears, we didn't have the tail. We had some hybridizations to get the ears and the tail. We had the cat hair. When we were born, we had like, uh, 
We didn't have paws. We don't have paws. That would be impossible to eat salmon. Salmon is the most wonderful thing in the world on our planet. Salmon at breakfast, salmon at lunch, salmon at dinner. <laughs> it's kind of routine. For salmon lovers, it's a salmon life on our world. It's it's mostly ocean. I'll tell you that. It's mostly ocean. That's why we love salmon so much. Salmon, salmon, salmon. Even more salmon. Yeah. Uh, so how, how tall uh, are you? Uh, I'm pretty tall. I'm about as tall as the ceiling. And I'm only 11 years... I mean, I'm only 12 years old. I'm as tall as the ceiling. What brings you to Earth? What's your purpose here? Fish. <laughs> I take care of the shrimp. Stuff. The clams. The fish. <laughs> the seafood. Um... Well, mo most of that. Usually it's to study the trees and the human population, see how everything's going. Because someday, we're thinking of walking on this earth, where everybody can see us. But we won't be eating fish. We'll be walking around this time. Usually we just form in the cache, just eat some fish. I'll tell you what, it's pretty good, though. But... Yeah, usually we just walk around. See what's, we're hoping to walk around, see what's going on, actually get in on the human civilization and the future. But until then, we gotta wait, so. No shrimp till then. <laughs> Are you related to the Lyrans? The Lyrans. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, we're related to them, kinda. We're kinda humanish. Just think of your human population. It's a little bit more advanced than this world and this population. It's a little bit more advanced. Just think of everything wider and taller. Yeah. May I ask you, please? Are dogs and cats incarnated? humans or humans from other um, lives because the way they look and they seem to know what we're they seem to have this like understanding especially dogs uh, I um, um, what was the question again the incarnation of dogs what is now is it cats and dogs on this earth, are, are, have you been souls or other souls? Have I been a soul on this earth from like a cat or a dog? Oh, it's okay, honey. I, I just wanted to know if, um, in general, cats and dogs are incarnated souls. Oh. Oh. Well, not really, no. Usually, like I said, it just transforms into a little house cat and I walk around the city sometimes. <clears throat> it's pretty rare to see us. Um, sometimes we wear. Uh, I can't really say what we wear. You'll you'll know. Usually have some type of headband on. To keep the ears from popping out. Because <laughs> we had the ears popping out, we'd be out of here like no. Actually, we'd be in the sea by then. We'd be hunting for the fish. Um, but we'd be out of here. But We'd be out here in no time. The ears popped up. Um, so what do you do for fun? Play with yarn balls, study, um, eat fish, of course. And, uh, yeah, play with yarn balls and stuff. Uh, usually I'm on the computer doing math and stuff. The school is kind of the same. It's just think of kindergartners doing 6th and 7th grade math. That's kind of what it's like. Uh, yeah, I usually do that, do homework, stuff like this, that, 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 that. It's annoying. That's why I'm here. Just take a little break for now. Thank you for coming. Mm. You're welcome. Um, 
there's someone else that wants to come in. I believe his name is Chronix. I better get out of here real quick. <laughs> uh... Hello. Oh. Hi. I'm Chronix. Welcome. Mm. It's an honor to finally meet humans. For uh, some, some people know me. I believe someone in this hangout does. Uh, well, I believe Logan channeled uh, Chronox for someone in this hangout. Sabrina? I think it was, yes. Yes, oh. it was me. Yeah. You know me a little bit. But I'll explain myself. I come from a world where there is rocks and crystals. I'm on an everyday duty job. 24 hours, to say. Um, usually mining crystals and stuff. I hybridize them and then put it in this earth sometimes to up the vibration. You don't see me. Most of the times, I'm usually in the caves. You can never find me. I'm somewhere in there. Do you want to talk a little bit about crystals? Sure. So you work with parrot, peridot, ruby, sapphire, diamonds, yellow diamonds, any type of diamonds, quartz crystals, technically. There's a couple unknown uh, crystals that I work with that I'm not going to say their names. But someday you'll discover them deep in the earth. And that's kind of what we're having problems with on our world. Trying to get that out of the ground is just hard. I know that Logan likes crystals. Um, are you the one that's been teaching him about them? A little bit. Teaching him the design, the energy, how it works. Something like that. The thing that interested me in him is how much he liked the crystals. And there you go. Mm -hmm. Found him one day, scanned the earth, there he is. He's on the map. <laughs> He's on the radar. And millions of others, too. To tell you the truth, millions, millions. Almost trillions. Mm. But he was only this... He was about the 75th kid I could find, so there you go. I like you working with the younger ones, so they can have a better understanding of it. Is there something that you would like to tell uh, humans... Some 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 words of wisdom that perhaps yes. you like to say. Yes. Be gentle with your crystals. They hold very, very many secrets. All you gotta do is shine the light on the right spot and there you go. You guys have a nice planet. Nice crystals, I'll tell you that. Nice design. Very, very unusual how the society works, though. But in a good way, too. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to talk with you guys. And I think this is a very, very interesting planet. Places that you have, stores, of course, the fish, cat likes, um, <laughs> big piles of salmon. <laughs> um, food, yeah, 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 crystals, definitely. Yeah, this planet has almost anything you can imagine. I got all I have to do is just look in the right spot next time. Walked into a store accidentally. I was out of there in no time. Didn't realize that there were humans there. Oh well. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cat had the same problem. Uh, ears popped up. 
he had to leave real quick. He went out the door. Um, so, yeah. Should I be going? I have one question for you. If it's not yeah. too difficult. Oh, it's not too difficult right now. I don't yeah. have to go. I'm on a break. Oh, thank you. There's a problem with the drill. Again. <laughs> Oh, you're so adorable. Okay, um, is there a crystal for love, for true love, between people, to balance a relationship between two people? Is there a special crystal for that? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking. I remember there was one. Well, there was a couple, but there was one that interests me a lot. Um... Rose quartz, yes, rose quartz. Mm -hmm. That's one. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'd say a little bit of garnet. Oh, garnet, okay, thank you. It's pretty good. It's a good loving state. And it's very, very powerful, too. All you gotta do is combine ruby and sapphire, and there you go, you have... Actually, we had to work on that for a while. Um, yeah, it was a working process. Um, anybody want a crystal for wisdom? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, there's Jasper. There's a crystal named Jasper. Um, it's a red crystal. It's for leadership and wisdom. Uh, Logan uh, wandered upon it one time. Uh, I believe it was at Mammoth Cave, those little necklaces and little bracelets. Looked at that, said wisdom something something, leadership, and yeah, it was pretty good. You can find those. That has a lot of wisdom in it. And I think there was one more. Um, no, no, oh, what do you know, there's no more, uh, that I can find. Right. Well, we want to say thank you, thank you for coming, for talking to us, uh, for being here with us, and all your information about crystals. Right. Yeah. Appreciate it. You're welcome. I must be going now. The drill's fixed, so I better go. Well, no, the drill's not fixed, but it's going to take a work process with at least 44 hours. Okay. Thank you for coming. Okay. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. And um, thank you, Logan. Uh, he'll be back in a minute, probably. Okay, I'm back. Oh, jeez. You, how you doing? Uh, pretty good. That's good. You doing okay? Yep. <laughs> okay. Hi, Logan. Huh? Hey. Oh, I'll ask. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to move this back over here. Yeah. 